So I wanted to look at drawing the Lewis structure of NO2 or nitrogen dioxide. And hopefully you watched my first video of all of the different steps. So I'll go through these steps a little bit faster. Um, first thing is you want to calculate the number of valence electrons. So nitrogen has five valence electrons. Oxygen has six valence electrons, and there's two of them. So five plus 12 gives me 17 valence electrons to work with. Okay, so I've got my valence electrons. The next thing I do is lay out a skeleton or a structure. And I do that by taking and linking things with single bonds. So I've got my N and O, and I need to add another oxygen. So I have to decide whether I want my nitrogen in the middle or my oxygen. And I look at electronegativities. So nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen. It likes electrons less. And so my least electronegative atom goes in the middle. OK, so I've got the skeleton up. And then I count how many electrons I used. So I've used one, two um, in this first bond and one, two in the second bond. So I've used four valence electrons. So I subtract that from the ones I picked. And I have 13 valence electrons remaining. So next step, step number three. Is I'm going to draw this back up. It erases it every time. Is to fill in the remaining electrons. Right, so I started with. 17 valence electrons, I used, I used four valence electrons, and I'm left with 13 valence electrons. I'm going to fill these in. So the most electronegative atom first. Okay, and so those will always be on the outside. Um, I fill those in until I reach the octet. So I've got 13, so I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to put one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and now I go into the nitrogen. Okay, and I'm filling these in until each um, atom has eight electrons. They cannot have more than eight. Okay, so now I go through and check, right? If I have a valid structure, I have the right number of atoms. And the right number of electrons. Okay, so atoms, I've got an oxygen, I've got a nitrogen, I've got another oxygen, that's right. Number of electrons, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's seventeen, and my structure has seventeen valence electrons. Okay, so that's correct but it's not the best structure. So best structure, I need to check octet and formal charges. OK, so I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw this back up here. I'm going to put all my electrons back. Okay, and I want to check octet and formal charge. So octet, does my atoms or do my atoms have eight electrons around them? This one has, I'll do red so you can count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So octet satisfied. My nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five. So it's low, but that's OK, because all of those atoms along the top row can be low. OK, um, the top row of the periodic table, so boron, nitrogen, carbon, oxygen, fluorine, they can all be low. 
And then the last one is this last oxygen. It looks like the first one, but count them anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So octet's good. So my octet rule is okay the way it is. Okay, so next I wanna check formal charges. And remember, I do that by drawing the box method. I draw a box around that element. And I have seven, oops, sorry, I do six valence electrons minus the number of box, which is seven valence, sorry. I'm just gonna erase that and start that section all over again. Okay, so. Valence electrons, oxygen has six valence electrons. And I'm gonna subtract by how many I've drawn in my box. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Minus seven box electrons gives me a negative one charge. My nitrogen, I'm gonna draw that box. Here, I've got five valence electrons. And I've got one, two, three. So I'm going to subtract three box electrons and I get a plus two formal charge. And my oxygen last one is right here. And I get six valence electrons minus seven that are in the box. So I get a negative one. And if you notice all of those formal charges add up to zero, which is perfect because that's the charge of the molecule. And if my formal charges don't add up to the charge on the molecule, then something's wrong, you've got to fix it. Okay, so I want my formal charges to be minimized, right? So in order to do that, I'm going to resonate my electrons. So how I resonate electrons is I take electrons from an atom that has a negative formal charge and I move them in between the one that has a positive formal charge. Okay, so I'll draw this up one more time. Okay, so there's my structure, right? And this oxygen has a negative formal charge. So I'm gonna take those two electrons or that pair and move these here, okay? So I draw a resonance arrow and I get a structure that has a double bond, a nitrogen, a single bond. This oxygen has four electrons or two lone pairs. One electron. Okay, and then that one has six. So we have drawn a resonance structure, which means we just moved electrons around, okay? So now we have a new structure. You wanna check atoms, check. You wanna check electrons, number of electrons, check. I've gone through and, and checked these. I wanna check octet, okay? So octet here, I've got eight electrons there. Around the nitrogen, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's low, but it's better. It's closer to the octet. And then this last oxygen here has its octet. Okay, and then the last thing you wanna check is your formal charges. A okay, formal charge on this oxygen is six minus six or zero. Formal charge on this nitrogen is five minus one, two, three, four, minus four, so it's a positive one. And formal charge on this oxygen stays the same and is minus one. Okay, so now a lot of you guys will think, okay, my formal charges, I can move these electrons over again um, to minimize these formal charges. But if you do that, what will happen is this nitrogen will have too many electrons. Okay, so let's let me draw this up, right? We've got our nitrogen, oxygen.
Okay, so formal charges here are zero, positive one, and minus one. And so, you know, you'll think like, hey, let me move these electrons here, right? And I'll get another resonance structure. Okay, so this is another resonance structure. And so you have to go through and check like atoms, check electrons, check now octet. So octet, your oxygen looks good. This oxygen looks good, but this nitrogen is over. And nitrogen can never ever be over. So this is not a valid Lewis structure, okay? Even though if I um, calculated my formal charges, all of them equal zero, it still doesn't matter. You cannot have nitrogen having more than eight electrons. So this is not a valid structure. So the best structure that we can draw for this molecule is that right there. So let me draw it again so it's not, there's no arrows around it. So this is the absolute best structure that I can draw. I've got the right number of atoms. I've got the right number of electrons. My octets are good, even though this one is low. And formal charges are as small as they can be, even though that zero plus one and minus one. So, Hopefully that helps um, draw another structure for you guys.